Whether you're an established Baroque cellist or just a modern cellist looking to play more Baroque cello, I wanted to give some of my suggestions for repertoire. Before I get into specifics on composers and pieces, I just want to say a word about editions. It's really important if you're interested in historical performance practice to get a good edition. That usually means something in the composer's hand, or if not in his hand, from a copyist of the same time period. As we get into modern print editions, we start to get more and more editors getting involved, and we actually want to try to avoid using music with editors. Most of these 20th century editors are not going to be referring to the same kind of treatises and resources that we would use as Baroque players, so we want to try to make our own musical decisions using the resources that we have from the time period and the information given to us by the composer. I'll put my recommendations for certain editions and resources all in the description of the video. A first place to start for many Baroque cellists are the Cello Suites by J.S. Bach. Through all walks of life, cellists study these pieces, though I do recommend if you want to learn one of these on Baroque cello, you consider learning a suite or focusing on a movement that you haven't played a lot on modern cello. You want to try to avoid bringing too much of your modern technique and muscle memory to the Baroque cello since you're going to be implementing different technical aspects. The cello suites are great pieces, but they're also very dense and somewhat technically demanding. If you're new on gut strings, you're probably going to learn a lot dealing with chords and double stops throughout the suites. They're also musically very dense, so you'll have to think a lot about counterpoint and different voices. The cello suites are not the easiest place to start for Baroque cello, but they're a good access point because we're so familiar with these works. Another set of pieces that's really common on modern cello and works great on Baroque cello are the sonatas by Vivaldi. These sonatas are written with continuo, so if you can find someone to play the bass line with you, either another cellist, a bassoon player, a bass player, or someone who plays some kind of keyboard instrument, it's really great to practice playing these sonatas with the accompaniment. So much of Baroque music is about harmony, so we want to be aware of the dissonances and the chord changes as they happen. Just as I recommended with Bach, if you've played some of these Vivaldi sonatas before, I recommend choosing a new one to play on Baroque cello. Moving away from some of the more popular choices, um, one of the first things I think of for Baroque cello music are the Richard Cars by Gabrielli. These are considered to be some of the first pieces ever written for solo cello. Gabrielli is from the 17th century, so the musical writing is a bit different than some of the stuff we see from Bach and Bach's contemporaries. The Gabrielli Richicars are way more bassline oriented. You're going to be playing on the bottom strings more and playing more root notes and actual bassline shaped melodies. I think it's really useful to play music like this because so much of what we do as Baroque cellists is play bass lines. So choosing some solo repertoire that focuses on bass lines is a great way to sort of grow that skill. Luckily, a lot of Baroque music is in the public domain, so you can get it online for free, but don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money on a really good edition when you need one. Another suggestion for unaccompanied pieces are the Capricci by Dallabacco. These are not particularly well-known pieces, but they make really great etudes, and they also have very sweet, charming melodies. The music for this is a little hard to track down, but I'll put all my resources in the description. Moving on to more accompanied pieces with continuo, I highly recommend the sonatas by Gemignani. Gemignani is an Italian composer like Vivaldi, but his writing is way less formulaic and a little bit more scattered. However, it's extremely passionate music and starts to branch out stylistically as well beyond what Vivaldi was doing. Another composer to consider is Jean-Baptiste Barrière. Barriere wrote four big books of cello sonatas, all with continuo, and they give us a chance to play a little bit in the French style. Barriere is really a hybrid of French and Italian music, but because we don't have as many French composers writing for cello, it's a nice opportunity to get to explore some French elements. Some of these pieces are really technically demanding. I've even heard of and seen people playing them on five-string cello, but some of them are more playable. It's good in your repertoire to have a balance of both unaccompanied and accompanied pieces because they make the cello work so differently. Though we're lucky because a lot of composers wrote music specifically for cello, you can also browse other instruments' music like bassoon, viola da gamba, and see if there's any music you like there. It was somewhat popular in the Baroque period to swap similar instruments for repertoire, so it's certainly not frowned upon. 
That being said, the pieces written specifically for cello are going to be much more idiomatic for the instrument and probably easier to play. What's so fun about playing Baroque music is so much of it is still very rarely known. You can do a lot of digging in online libraries and in music libraries in person to find a lot of undiscovered, rarely played music. I hope this gives you some things to think about for starting out your repertoire, and if you have other suggestions for your favorite Baroque cello pieces, be sure to leave them in the comments. Always leave your questions as I'm happy to do follow-up videos on more topics like this. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I do new videos every week, and if you want to help support me make more videos, you can become my patron on Patreon.